Health officials in several European countries are checking to see if the newly identified variant of coronavirus has already arrived within their borders. The World Health Organization says early evidence suggests the variant, named Omicron, poses an increased reinfection risk. In the Netherlands, samples from 61 people who tested positive for COVID after arriving from South Africa are being examined to see if they contain the new strain. It comes as more countries around the world, including the US and Australia, announce they're closing their borders to flights from Southern Africa. Our correspondent Caroline Davis has more. It's all taking time. It's all taking uh, much of your patience. Stuck on a plane as the authorities grapple with what to do next. Jack Fletcher was one of 600 passengers who were stopped at Schiphol Airport yesterday after flying from South Africa. Half past one in the morning. They were kept in the terminal for hours, waiting for the result of new PCR tests. Jack is one of 61 people that the authorities have said are positive, despite being double jabbed and testing negative before he flew. People were crying, there was babies crying, um, and they just put me in the corner of the room and then they said, right, where am I going? They just said, you're going to a quarantine hotel in Amsterdam. Uh, and then we were put into the back of like um, a van that had sort of like a minibus kind of van, which had all, yeah, to be fair, it just looked like cling film or sheets or something hanging from the top. Two guys in the front in hazmat suits. Have you been told what's going to happen next now that you're in the hotel? No, no, I've, I've not had any emails, no text messages, no phone calls, any, nothing at all. Schiphol Airport said it was a unique situation and that they'd done their best to make sure people were comfortable. Around the world, countries are closing their borders to arrivals from Southern Africa, including the US. I decided that we're going to be cautious, make sure there's no travel to and from South Africa and six other countries in that region, <clears throat> and, um, except for American citizens who are able to come back. Over the course of the last few months, travel has been opening up as the doors close trying to get UK nationals out of Southern Africa before quarantine hotels start tomorrow is a struggle. South Africa is a huge destination for both business, but visiting friends and relatives and we're coming up to the Christmas period. So there's a lot of stress for passengers out there. Uh, and uh, you know many of them won't be able to get home because there just isn't the flight uplift to get them back to the UK in time before quarantine comes in. There are still many questions about the Omicron variant. While the world's scientists work to answer them, the world's governments are struggling to buy their countries more time. Caroline Davis, BBC News.